rationalizing the denominator. Okay, this means that we want to get rid of the thirds on the denominator. Okay, so let's say m over square root of n. So the idea, okay, to get rid of the third down the bottom. So we must time um, square root of n, okay, down the bottom, and we need numerator, we time by square root of n as well. Okay, so square root of n times square root of n, give me n. That's what the whole idea is. So if I times n for top and bottom, the answer is the top is m root n and the bottom is become n. Okay, that's the result. Correct? Okay, now let's straight into it. Okay, so this is it. Okay, now 2 square root of 3. So of course we want to get rid of um, the, the square root of 3. So what we do, okay, we time by root 3, the bottom. Of course, you have to do the same thing on the top, see? Because root 3 times root 3, okay, I mean root 3 divided root 3 is 1 anyway, so it's the same. So that's why I can do that. Now I just time them in. 2 times root 3 is 2 root 3. Square root of 3 times square root of 3, the answer is 3. Okay, that's all. Okay, just keep that in mind. Ration, rationalized denominator mean you want to get rid of the sets on the bottom. That's what it is. Because it's irrational number down a, um, down the bottom, which is we want to get rid of it by time by itself. So it gives me a, a rational numbers. So this question here, 2 over square root 6. So what I do, I times square root of 6, I times square root of 6. Okay, so to, to get rid of the third down at bottom. So the top, 2 times root 6 is 2 square root of 6. And square root of 6 times square root of 6 is 6. Of course, we're not finished yet because you have to simplify, of course, because 2 over 6, both are divisible by 2. I divide by 2, give me 1. Divide by 2, give me 3. 1 times root 6 is root 6. And left with 3. That's the answer. Okay? Let's move on next one. Okay, root 3 over root 5. So same thing applies, so which is time by root 5 over root 5, because I want to get rid of root 5 down the bottom here, which is a denominator, if you like, like this, see? So this means that root 3 times root 5 is square root of 15, and note that I can't simplify any further, because there's none of the um, square number can go to 15. So square root 5 times square root 5 is 5, and that's all you can do. Okay, let's move on to this one here. 3 plus root 3 or over 2 root 6. So what I do, I time by, okay, what do I time by? Right, of course you can time by 2 root 6, but, okay, the best way is just time by root 6. Now remember, I just want to get rid of the sets. So I time by root 6, that's all I, I need to do. So 3 times root 6, okay, this is our bracket, okay, 3 times root 6 is 3 root 6. Root 6 times root 3, or three, root 3 times root 6, either way, so it's root 18. And all over square root 6 times square root 6 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12. Okay, of course you can simplify further, because 18 is 9 times 2. So I write 3 square root of 6. At okay, 18 is 9 times 3. Keep that in mind. So square root of that, square root 9 is, sorry, the 9 times 2, that's what I meant. Sorry about that. So 9 times 2, so that's what that meant. So 9 times 2, okay, that give me 18, so that answer is 3 root 2 over 12. Okay, now, of course, you can factorize by taking a 3 out. Okay, you have to simplify, of course. So I'm taking the 3 out, 3 is a common factor. I take the 3 out, so square root of 6 at square root of 2, all over 12. You see? Now 3 and 12 can divide by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So my answer, okay, is square root of 6 plus square root of 2, all over 4. Okay, that's the answer. All right. Okay, let's move on next one. Now, this one here, 
um, add a bit of flavor now because the two terms down the bottom. So six plus square root five. So you you want to get rid the um, the third down the bottom. The only way to do this is you you time by we call conjugate time opposite of psi of um, plus. So if it plus, you time by minus. We want we want um, to have different of two square. Now remember I a plus b, okay, times a minus b, okay, if you remember the rules, a, this is different of 2 square, this means a square minus b square, okay, um, that's what the rule is, okay, otherwise you just do long expansion, see, look at this, a times a is a square, a times b is a b, but it's minus a b, of course, um, because it's negative times positive, so minus a b, and b times a same as ab, but it's plus, and then minus b square. This is b, of course. Then that cancel out, so left with a square minus b square. Okay, so we call different of two square. That's how we we want to get rid of the um. That's how we do. Okay, when you see these two terms, you time by the conjugate. That's what we call opposite side of it. So we can have different of two square. So I time by six minus square root of five. I time by 6 minus square root of 5. Now, okay, I just do, this is just like that. So this means is 6, okay, square root of um, 3 minus square root 3 times square root of 5 is square root of 15, square root. All over, 6 square is 36 minus square root 5 square is 5. Now I just simplify. Now the top numerator I can't do anything. So six square root of three minus square root of fifteen. Okay, all over thirty one. Um, thirty six minus five is thirty one. And I cannot simplify any further, so I stop there. This one here. Okay, same thing applies to so. 4 plus root 3 or over 2 minus root 7. The only way to do is you time by 2 plus root 7. Okay, so I can have different of 2 square in the bottom. So this one is 2 plus root 7, of course. So it's just like that if you think about it. Okay, then this one here, the bottom is different of 2 square. So which is equal to the top, I expand first. So 2 times 4 is 8. And then 4 times root 7 is 4 root 7. And then root 3 times 2 is at 2 root 3. And root 3 times root 7 is root 21. Okay? And then all over 2 square is 4 minus, because different of 2 square, square root 7 square is 7. So minus 7. Now the top. Let's see, I can't do anything with the top, so um, can't, I can't simplify any further. So what I do, I just write it out. I go 8 plus 4 square root of 7 plus 2 square root of 3 plus square root of 21. All over, okay, 4 take away 7 is minus 3. Okay, so I, I write minus 3 here, but because with fractions, I just write in front, like that, okay, so that's the answer, or you can just put a bracket in front, so that, that's all you can do, you can't simplify any further with this question here, all right, let me run this question here, okay, now this one is adding certs, right, it's adding cert, it's just right adding fractions, it is a fractions, right, so before we do anything, I rationalize first because I want to get rid of the set, okay, on a denominator, okay, the bottom, if you like. So what I do, okay, this one here, I time by root 5 and root 5. This one, I time by root 2, time by root 2. Is that all right? Okay, so now I get 3 times root 5 is 3 root 5, square root of 5. Over square root 5 times square root 5 is 5. That's the whole purpose. At, okay, 2 root 2 or over 2. Okay, now, two ways. Okay, one way is I can just simplify this. So it becomes root 2. Okay, so that's 
that's his easy way. So now what I do, the best way to do, I cancel this. So what I do, the common denominator is 5, right? Because root 2, so I can test time by 5 over 5. So if you think about it. So this means that, okay, it becomes 3 square root of 5 plus 5 root 2 over, because remember this is 1 over 5. And this is 5, of course, sorry. And that's all. Then what you do, you write in whole fractions. So just go like this. 5 add 5 square root 2 all over 5. And you can't collect like term because there, there are no like term there. Okay, this is how you do it. Okay, let's move on next questions. Now this question here is the same thing, but except okay, this this term here it bit uh, a bit more work. That's all. So um, what I do, I rationalize first, of course. So this one, because I run a space, I put it in front. Okay, I time by root five over square root of five. Where this one here. I time by 3 plus square root of 2, so I can, I can have um, different of 2 squared, 3 plus square root of 2. Okay, so that's how it is. So, 3 times root 5 is 3 root 5. Okay, over root 5 times root 5 here is 5. Add, okay, this is of course just like that, 2 times, so that becomes 2 times 3 is 6. Plus Okay, 2 square root of 2. All over 3 square is 9 minus square root 2 square is 2. Okay, now I just simplify the second term first. I write the first term out. 3 square root of 5 over 5. Add 6 plus 2 root 2 all over 7. Now, adding fractions. Common denominator is 7, okay? I mean, sorry, 35, because 7 times 5, okay? So the common denominator is 35, I'll write here for you, because 7 times 5 is 35, okay? That's the lowest common denominator. In another word, the lowest common multiple of 5 and 7. So now I just write out here first. I write all in one, one um, uh, fractions, so 35, easier. So the 7 times that. So which is 7 times 3 is 21. Square root 5 plus, okay, 5, I write out bracket, okay? I run a space, but I, I'm going to squeeze somewhere somehow. So time squeeze in there. So which is 5, I write it out first. So I, this, you can see how I do it, okay? So this is where up to. Sorry, I run a space. So what I do here, I rewrite, okay, hopefully you can see. So I write this 21, okay, square root 5, I write a little bit smaller, add my apologies, 5 times is 30, 5 times 6 is 30, 5 times this is at 10, okay, square root of 2, all over 35, okay, then um, I can't do anything with that. Um, there's no light term. But what I can do, I can write I can write 21 square root 5 plus 10 root 2 plus 30. Just put them, um, um, I mean, um, certs on one side, okay, on, on the same side. So it's, it's look nicer, that's all. Um, I can write in here. Sorry, I just write here, that's the last line. So what I do, your answer here is equal to, okay, let's say 21 square root of 5 plus... 10 root 2 plus 30 or over 35 that's the answer for for this okay this is the answer okay so um, that's that's how it is sorry about that run of space so please keep that in mind for me thank you so much for watching my videos